I wanted to address the matter of a message uh, I believe I have for humanity. And it involves a deeper lesson in the destructive nature of polarity. But because we are receivers of information, you know, we are receivers of uh, frequency, receivers of data. Our bodies are made of water. Water is receptive. It's also in the form of the carbon atom, which has taken form, uh, the form of a solid, earth. So it's water and earth. It is considered energetically feminine because it's receptive. And being that it receives frequencies, it receives information from the planet and from the heavens and disseminates that data down to its cells and communicates that you know, all the way back up to the source. There's a network. It's a, it's, it's a function of Aquarius. But the um, polarity exists, as I mentioned, uh, where there is a division of perspective and where we're divided in perspective is where we see the world of the shadow outside of us. We project our shadow uh, to others. You know, the qualities that we embody, that we're sensitive to, that we, for whatever reason, suppress about ourselves due to tradition or personal dislike. But we project what we reject about ourselves to others. And there is a, uh, a natural um, a conflict that arises when we hold that perspective. It creates an intent that is destructive. It engages with intent the object of our loathing, the object of our shadow, the object of the qualities that we reject. And that sends tremors through the field. That polarity needs to be transmuted somehow by the planet. And it's become a jumbled mess because, I don't know if you've noticed, but we're experiencing all types of earth changes. We have a grand solar minimum. We have where the poles, we may actually experience a pole flip within our lifetimes. We have um, KP index that periodically fluctuates between zero and one, which for any of you who know, uh, it leaves us exposed to solar winds and to uh, pressure from space and because we're actually crossing the galactic center and are being bombarded with um, cosmic rays that are intensifying our own electrical grid it's causing a react uh, a reaction um, in the nature of matter where it is intensified where passions are flared the the intensification of um, energy is translating um, to an intensification in the polarity in the land. We're having uh, volcanoes disrupt. We're having, um, you know, politics. We're going crazy with religion. All types of, um, you know, secrets are being exposed with pedophilia and with um, abuse toward women. It's an intensification of light, which creates an intensification in clarity and awareness. Um because matter itself is actually becoming more self-aware. And through us, it's taking note of all of the things it once ignored. And it happens on a quantum level, but we are the free agent within that system that has the ability to transmute that force and to change it to, well, from one of destructive force or destructive reconciliation to loving reconciliation. But if we don't, what we face is actual Armageddon. I don't know if you've noticed that an intensification and ampacity um, draws on greater voltage. If you know anything about electrical circuits and the way it, you know it's all wired up, when you have resistance and that resistance isn't overcome and ampacity is increased, it increases the amount of voltage. So it just creates this bottleneck effect where there's this intensification of heat. And that's how most of our... Um, you know, common uh, household heaters are actually wired up. There's this uh, resistor that receives the current and it freezes it and it magnifies it because the magnetic coil allows for the heat 
the you know the electricity to pass through its windings and the field that it creates of um, friction it overlaps and it just magnifies the heat magnifies the coil so there's an intensification of its magnetic potence and an intensification of the heat that it draws and that's what we're experiencing in the land is this increase in polarity which is drawing everyone who is diametrically opposed to one another in uh, a division of perspective in toward violent reconciliation they don't realize what's actually happening so we have a choice we can actually either transmute this and reconcile by way of love or we can take the path of wrath and we can reconcile by way of violence and i rest assured do not intend to live in the timeline um, that we experience that as a uh you know an unavoidable reality because you know what people are talking about and in the bible it describes the shift this winnowing this separation of the wheat versus the chaff and you know when you learn about the timelines you can actually see how we're reaching this crescendo of experiences where it will influence everyone's lives it will disrupt everything everything at some point is going to be disrupted which will cause an impact on consciousness in general and force everyone to take a good look at themselves and to realize their own inner worlds and the state of their own emotional well-being they'll realize they're damaged they'll realize they're in so much pain and no one will care because everyone's all going to be experiencing their own pain so magnetically they're going to attract themselves onto the timeline where they experience a world in pain and their own suffering and they'll be enraged and because they won't understand what's going on, they will follow the path that these elite, some of these maniacal people have waiting for them, which is a world that experiences death and mayhem. It experiences poverty and tyranny and humiliation. It experiences technocracy as the solution. It experiences a rewriting of the rules through virtual reality and uh, a world where there is no consequence for evil and a world where there is no growth for learning hard experiences a world where it says in those days people would seek death and it would flee from them a world of virtual rules and a world where we are repurposed by our technological advancements that force us to reconcile our difference with the status quo by upgrading our and our anatomy you know our biology with um biological uh you know um biomechanical fittings to make us more efficient because consciousness will evolve um with scarcity as its as its uh as its impetus and that timeline um means doom of the soul it's further separation from the collective further separation from the subconscious further uh descent into matter a metal world of metal rules and metal emotions or we can reactivate the pyramids 